Well, here in France, the sports ministry is holding a meeting today with security and football officials after the chaos that marred the Champions League final between Liverpool and Real Madrid Saturday night. Liverpool has called for an investigation into the treatment of its supporters as police use tear gas and pepper spray on people who've been waiting for hours just to get into the game. Entre 30 to 40,000 people should not have entered the stadium. Everything is going to be cleared up soon. There were fake tickets and there were people without tickets. That's almost 50% more than the stadium's capacity. And these people were concentrated in very tight areas. Well, to get more reaction from the UK, let's bring in France 24's Benedict Pavio in London. Benedict, what have people there been saying about what happened over the weekend in Paris? Well, instead of it being a, a football celebration, uh, we would mention the defeat, of course, against Real Madrid. But what we've seen are immediately pictures, footage across social media, then across uh, the media here, uh, terrible headlines uh, showing... Uh, tear gassing of uh, Liverpool supporters, amongst them nine-year-old, ten-year-old uh, children, apparently uh, pregnant women. Uh, and the fact that the French authorities, the French sports minister, uh, said that Liverpool fans uh, didn't have valid tickets, uh, were too late uh, in coming uh, to the Stade de France where the final Champions League final was being played, the fact that there were so many fake tickets, all of that, that blame game very quickly and the French authorities blaming the Liverpool supporters has gone down really badly. Uh, it's still headline news um, and very much, I think, uh, all eyes on this meeting that is happening as we speak, I understand, uh, where the French sports minister has uh, summoned UEFA, the French Football Association, uh, stadium officials and police to what she says is to draw the lessons on the event. It's true. There has been a, a lot of blame on the Liverpool fans, uh, at least here in France, as you were mentioning. Just tell us a bit more about reaction to that. That's got to be really galling, especially after already losing the final. Well, indeed, of course, Liverpool fans who remember Hillsborough, and some say that a disaster was avoided really narrowly. Um, and, uh, you know, there are big, big questions here about the failings, as it's seen here, uh, not just the blame game, but uh, done by the French authorities. Now it's been noted that local youths may have also, uh, as the sports minister now has said, um, also helped create that dangerous atmosphere. But clearly what is felt this side of the channel that is a, a big investigation, an urgent investigation uh, for a country that is going to be uh, hosting the Olympics. Um, uh, real questions also about the fact that the French police that are known to be very different, for example, to British police, uh, and a lot of papers and media saying here that it's actually quite violent towards protesters, uh, are saying that, you know, are they much harder on English fans? And is that because of the reputation uh, in the past of, of hooligans? And really, the logistics uh, is what is also being said here. But that notion of a disaster being avoided and averted really narrowly, uh, and the fact that they have been treated unfairly, is what really is uh, worrying uh, Liverpool fans and also the authorities here. And clearly, the British government wants answers. All right, Benedict, thanks for that. France 24's Benedict Pavio in London.